Hello, in this class will you be using Flipgrid, which is a video response tool. You can leave comments from 15 seconds to 10 minutes, depending on the settings. It works on a PC that has a camera and mic, or also on a mobile device, Android or iOS. You can also now import videos, so any device that you can upload from, it will work too. To access Flipgrid in your course, what you want to do is go to Assignments. And here you have a list of Flipgrids to complete for the semester. And let's start with the first one. There is a PDF guide here. It's also this video that you're watching. And you can access it directly in Canvas. So again, use your to join, you have to use your school email. Or uh, if you can open it in a new tab. So we're going to go ahead and log in with Google. You have the prompt, and then you have the green plus sign. To access it in your mobile device, you'll need this code. So 0494E35C, and you can access it in your mobile device. And then to respond, click, let's open up here is how it looks on a different tab. You can also, this is the ones that are coming. So from any of the grids in this semester, you can access the other grids that you'll be using. Click on the green plus sign. The first time you use it, it'll ask you to authorize your camera and mic. I'm going to switch cameras. Here we go. So you can, if you don't want to be on camera, there are filters. For example, you can pixelate yourself. If you wanted to upload a video, click the three little dots and add import video for your computer. You can also record your desktop if you wanted to do that as well. Um, you can also play around with stickers. Let's say, I want to have that, put that in a corner here, oh. or you know, you could do that and cover your face if you wanted to do that too, or if you just want to have fun, you know, you can add a different, you can give yourself some glasses, let's say, anything you can resize, turn around, so I'm going to give myself these glasses, cool. So now what I'm going to do is... Um, Say I wanted to also have a tablet, so I want to write on the board, on the on the video. I can do that too. You can draw while you talk. Let's say you need a sticky note because you can't remember what you were talking about. Remember, the sticky note won't show up in the video. Remember to mention um, house items. Let's say we're learning Spanish that chapter, and we have to mention different house items. So I'm going to put that there. Maybe you put a word you want to make sure to, to remember to mention. Uh, casa, carro, cocina. Okay, so different things you want to mention. If you want to bring up the prompt again, you have it here. So you can always, and again, that won't also show up when you record. Uh, both the stickers and the show topic are for you, not for the final recording. So then when we're ready to start recording, you want to click the record button. Three, two, one. And don't worry about messing up. You have a redo, redo button right here, right? So if you wanted to re-record this, just hit redo and re-record. You can also see the spinning wheel. Time is adding on it. So in this case, the, the time limit is not 15 seconds. I think your professor left maybe 5 minutes or 3 minutes. But uh, I got a while still before I get there. Seems less, maybe 2 minutes. Uh, once you get there, um, you're done. But you can finish at any point. You don't have to use all the recording time. So if that says it's all I wanted to say, click pause. I'm done recording. Uh, so I'm not using all the time. Again, I have more than half the time still left. And because you notice that I could switch cameras. So if you're using your phone, you want to switch between like selfie camera and you want to shoot out, you could do that. Um, you could do it to do field interviews. You could do it to record things outside your house. Not a problem. And again, you can also just upload a video too that, that you want to share. Uh, once you're done, click next, and don't worry about messing up. You have a redo. You can, if you want to edit, the edit's really and basic. Don't worry about messing up. It only really allows you to trim, so you can grab either side and trim. I'm not going to trim at this point, but you could do that. You trim the edges, and then at the end, it asks you to take a selfie. So this is just to decorate it. So you can see here when you have the video wall, everybody has like a decorated selfie. That's what goes there. Uh, so if I wanted to, um, let's say, do something else for my selfie, uh, let's do see myself with Nana for the selfie. OK, 
Okay, so you can do things like that. And I'm also going to add, let's see, there's other things like uh, arrows, text. I'm from Venezuela, so I'm going to go ahead and add saying we have que chévere. Okay, so once you're done, click take the picture, uh, click next. It still hasn't posted, so you can still delete this video if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to delete this one, uh, but um, but you could still, if you wanted to cancel, click the X, and you don't have to post it. Test. Okay. And when you're done, click Submit. So that's the steps you got to do. When you submit it, it will show up on the grid. So if we go back to your class grid, just refresh this page. Log in with Google. It tells to remember your username if you want to. Um, also on your phone, it'll remember the grid you recently accessed if you download the phone app. So that's really handy. It tells you you accessed these grids recently. Um, so here's my response. So, And you can answer your peers. If you wanted to comment on them, click reply. So then camera mic. And then now I could uh, lift up response to somebody else's comments. So and do don't worry about member, messing up. You have can window, also leave uh, right here, right? Leave comments as well. Uh, so they, they have uh, they can leave uh, text comments or leave you a video response too. That's pretty much Flipgrid. At the end, you have a video wall. Here you can see a prior semester. So this is the same. Buenos tardes. Mi amo Tristan. As uh, the question you're answering right now, but from a previous class. So you can see now you how um, some students, for example, decided not to be on camera. That's perfectly fine. Uh, so if you want to use an emoji for the, the selfie, you can do that. Uh, so hopefully you find this fun. It's really one of the simplest ways to leave a video response. And it also allows you to have interaction with each other. So you may be asked to comment on other people's videos. I uh, hope you find this uh, easy to use. Thanks.